Thank you for choosing Kaspersky Lab products and support. In this exercise, we'll cover Kaspersky Antivirus Policy Inheritance through the Administration Kit, including the effect locking a policy has on lower-level groups and end-users' ability to change antivirus settings locally. The Kaspersky Administration Kit employs a hierarchy of groups and their respective policies to ease management across your enterprise. First, let's examine policy inheritance. By default, after installation of the Kaspersky Administration Kit, a standard Managed Computers group is created. In this example, we've created a subgroup called Child Group Number 1. Expand the Policies menu within this subgroup. No policies currently exist. However, the machines listed under Client Computers of this group have inherited policies from the higher level. To verify this, highlight the Policies menu, then at the top menu bar, select View and Inherited Policies. Notice the locks next to each policy. Edit the policy to confirm that all settings are grayed out by right-clicking the policy, selecting Properties, and viewing the Protection and Settings tabs. This is due to the fact that the policy is inherited through a higher level policy. Before proceeding, let's turn this view off. Editing of the lower level policy is possible by creating a new policy. Right click on the policies menu, select New, Policy. A new policy wizard launches. Complete the steps of this wizard. Once your new policy is created, you'll notice this time it's missing the lock. This policy is now editable at the lower level. Edit this policy. You'll notice settings are still locked at this level. This is due to the fact that lower level policies inherit their settings from higher level policies. To allow this policy to be edited at this level, two steps must be performed. First, on the lower level policy, right click the policy, select Properties, under the General tab, click Advanced in the lower right. Notice the settings is inherited from a higher level policy. This must first be unchecked. Browse to the higher level policy. Right click the higher level policy. Select Properties. Under the General tab, select Advanced. Uncheck Force Inheritance of Settings in Child Policies. Select OK. Apply the policy change. And browse back down to the lower level policy. Repeat the steps. Right-click the lower level policy. Select Properties. Under the General tab, select Advanced. This time uncheck Inherit Settings from the Parent. This has freed this policy from manipulation from the higher level. All settings are now fully adjustable. The Kaspersky Administration Kit also allows administrators to manage which settings can and cannot be adjusted directly through end users' antivirus consoles. To illustrate this point, open the antivirus console of a managed machine, select Settings. Notice 
the settings by default are all grayed out. That's because they're being managed from an administration kit. Close the console and browse back to the administration kit. Edit the policy governing the machine in question. Browse to the protection tab. Notice each protection component has a series of locks next to it. Unlock the protection component in question that you want to make editable by the end users. Click the Apply and OK button to push the new changes through the policy. Once the policy propagates to your end users, these settings will be adjustable. Let's confirm that the protection policy adjustment does indeed allow us to manipulate settings directly through the end user console. This concludes our tutorial on Kaspersky Administration Kit policy, inheritance, and adjusting antivirus settings. For additional support options, please contact Kaspersky Lab America's Corporate Support. You can access our knowledge base 24 hours a day, submit a web ticket, chat with a support engineer, or call our support center during normal hours of operation. Thank you for choosing Kaspersky Lab.